Good day, I am Angelica Doramal and in this video, I am going to discuss one of the issues on teaching and assessment of grammar. So, the concept of grammar and how to teach it includes a wide range of perspectives. Some teaching approaches focus on formal rules of grammar that precede language, practice, or performance. So, one of the arguments of teaching and assessment of grammar focuses on the issue of teaching methods, choices as should grammar be taught deductively or inductively. The deductive approach to teaching grammar provides a general rule and then gives students the opportunity to state the grammar rule that applies. Based on my own perspective and experience, deductive method on teaching grammar will be much suitable to use if we are to introduce a new and fresh topics for the students who are having a hard time to comprehend what is being asked. Since the students here are only required to identify and enumerate the rules that was presented already by the previous examples given. Though the inductive teaching method is also a more effective way of teaching grammar because it requires the students to think critically and analyze thoroughly the given activity in regards to grammar teaching. I assume both of these teaching methods need to go hand in hand for a more effective way of acquisition of the language too or the English language. Of course, within the inductive and deductive dichotomy of teaching grammar, a variety of different techniques can be used, which suggests that adopting a single approach to grammar teaching does not account for many relevant factors such as the various reasons and purposes for learning English, the context in which it is learned, the age of students, the class size, the the relative difficulty of the grammar feature in question, and the proficiency level of students. To conclude, ensuring that the students' needs are being met requires a wide range of approaches and techniques in grammar teaching.